Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to another episode of Tectonica. And I have been very busy since the last episode. So busy I had to actually add another level. Uh, the reason why I did this is I want to try to get into the blue research today. And I'll be quite honest with you, it's been a bit of a headache trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. But to get the blue research course, we need two cooling systems, four processors, and three research cores. Technically, the research cores I'm producing right now, I just don't have them automatically supplied. Uh, the processors are being mass automatically produced right now. Uh, the cooling systems, however, uh, do require two, three other processes. Now, it only shows two here, but it uh, requires one mechanical component and two Shiverthorn coolant. Shiverthorn coolant is Shiverthorn extract, which I'm already making. I can get the other farm set up going on that. Uh, needs the limestone. Limestone is going to be a bit of a an issue, and I might have to make some changes to the way everything works around here. And iron components, which needs another assembler, iron ink. And then, of course, we need iron and copper for that. So we basically need for this. I would need what was it? We need one and two. So we like five iron, two copper for one of those. So it's going to be ten iron and four copper plus processors and whatever goes to the research course. So it's quite a bit. Um, I do have some room up here. I was thinking about trying to tap off of here. Like I got room, I could get another two mines, two drills there and two over here. Uh, there is research I can do that'll improve this. We go to terraforming, I think it was. Uh, originally, I thought that this was the spill of the mole, but this is not speed of the mole, but this is actually the speed of the mole here. This is actually for these drills. Uh, I can't upgrade the next speed, but I need blue research for it. Everything is locked behind blue research. And then, of course, you get to tier three. Uh, it just requires uh, a lot of power, but as you can see, it gets quite, quite good. Like already, it's doing 180% what it normally did. Next one goes up another 100%, which is. Pretty good, and there's a uh, seamless smelting too. Uh, I believe it was. I don't know. Oh, yeah, smelting speed. Speed of 120%. Now, I'm assuming that just it produce the the fuel burns at the same rate. It just produces the cooking time for the recipes go down, and that's what I'm assuming. Uh, might be a good idea to do, but uh, it's not urgent. Uh, other than that, it's not much here. Like I said, there's a monorail there. Uh, this stuff here is me personally. That's not actually con containers. Uh, and this is all other stuff. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, I've been looking at the map here, and I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna actually get stuff sort of broad end because I think I actually have to bring in the, re the resources from it. Uh, one thing I do want to do is actually unlock uh, where is it? Your logistics. These ones. And I actually have enough research. I'm keeping those cores going uh, for now. I don't know how much more I need, but I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the purple cores being run in this machine here. And when I don't need them anymore, then it's gonna be brought up to here to be combined with all the other ones that I'm making up here to make the blue ones. Uh, that being said, I did, however, let's actually get this out of the way now. Uh, I'm gonna leave this here as a temporary setup for whatever temporary recipes I need. But I do have 50 of the ingots, and I did actually make 50 of the wire. So let's go and unlock that door. And that one was over here. So I should go see what this gives me. I think it's gonna give me the advanced processors, which allows me to unlock uh, this stage. And I think I have a door I have to unlock with it as well. Oh, I'm going the wrong way again, I believe. right here. That's right, I cut my way through. Uh, was it one of these tunnels? I think it was this one. Yes, it is. It was this door that needed the, I believe, needed the ingots. Now let's actually check the journal here. Tell me what I need. There's me at the bottom for some reason. SC, nope. CB. Where was CB? Oh, over here. Are you? I think I'm going with the wrong one. Hang on. Uh, 
Let me see if I figure, what figure out where this is. I remember this one. This is that one that I just randomly found exploring. Well, let's see what's inside. Aliens, perhaps. Alright. Ooh. I recognize this place. These were the living quarters for the crew. We might be able to salvage some personal upgrades here that people left kicking around. Sounds good to me. It takes a lot of research cores to get all this tech going, doesn't it? Glad to see you're staying on top of it. Yeah. Uh, core cluster, I think it just places the cores in clusters. Not 100% sure. That's just what I'm going by. Wow, it's dark in here. A lot to explore. I can see the map better. I already have it, but do that. What's this? Suit speed 4. Good, I don't even have suit, suit, suit speed 2 yet. And what do we have here? Accumulator 4. Wow. Got a long way to go on those things. Alright, what are you doing? Nothing? Okay. What else we got? down at the end of the hall, see if there's anything here that might be of interest. Never know what's hiding in the shadows. Could be good, could be bad. Now which way did I come in? This way. I'm oh, sorry, it bugs me, I can't run in story mode. Oh, I thought that was a loop in. Oh, wait, I was already in here. Okay, that's all that's in the, here. Sorry. That's me mashing my shift key trying to run. Uh, data entry for a belt I've been using the entire time. When I was down in that facility, a part of me thought that maybe I was making all of this up. My crew, my life, the expedition. Your mind starts filling in the blanks you don't want to think about anymore. Like it knows there isn't any harm in it because you're never getting out of there anyways. A sinking feeling that keeps sinking. But it was real. There were hundreds of people here. Thousands. They worked here. We cared about them. We were in this together. I'm not saying all this to hold on to whatever happened to me. I'm saying this to let it go. Okay. okay. Alright, uh, craft speed 4. Oh yeah, I was looking at some of those craft speed uh, upgrades I could do. Personal crafting at 4 times the speed, which... I guess helps when you're doing it with raw resources and it takes like 400 seconds to do something. People who put their whole lives into getting picked for the expedition. I just gave it a shot. No idea how I made it, and they didn't. The criteria for the expedition was never about finding the best people. It was focused on finding the right people. What's the difference? Hmm. You might say that what they were looking for was willingness. So, if we were lost and the expedition was finished, do you think they would have been willing to go home without us? Yes. And I would have expected no less of you. Wow. There's people in my pocket and having a conversation. This. This feels like some kind of video game lounge, but... This feels like a video game? What are you talking about? Why do they all have these huge monitors? What kind of game needs widening anyways i prefer cards come to think of it i've got one heck of a poker face now don't i here okay what's this uh rail rush oh yeah uh that's uh when i get to the monorail i can actually use them i guess use a magnet and ride the, the monorail for personal use all right core boost assembly oh yeah that's uh allows for I believe less power usage. I, I didn't see what the last one was. Uh, core power boost. Oh, yeah, these are just extra things. 
Cool. Let's actually have a look and see what that was. Uh, it's going to be synthesis, I'd imagine. Nope. Uh, nope. No, I want to be science. See, this one I want to get because this is a power trim for the assemblers. And this one I should find in here. I don't know what else I'm picking up. Really wasn't paying attention. I'm sure stuff I haven't even gotten to yet because I'm still working on Victor at the moment. Uh, there is nothing else in here. Uh, I've been down here already. Yes, I have. Alright, let's go see what's down the spooky hallway. Movie theater. This was obviously a movie theater for when people had downtime. But it exposes another strange gap in my memory. Secret. I can't really remember anything recreational. Some part of me knows I spent a ton of time here, but even coming here and being reminded of it doesn't jog anything specific. The only thing I really remember is work. And, and that isn't like me. Or at least, I don't think it was. Sounds like me. What a spoiler. Shows you what's in the, in the chest on the lower left. Advanced smelter. Or smelter mark 2. Cool. Uh, did I even unlock that? Probably not. By way up in the next level here. Oh wait, hold on. What's here? Melton speed 2. Almost there. Logistics, no. Transportation, no. Oh, no, no. Still looking for that power trim. Oh, yeah, core boost. For smelting. Uh, increases 0.25%. Oh, wow, that's great. Alright, well, there was nothing else in there. Let's go see what else we got. But I can't run. It's almost like I'm over encumbered because I've been looting so much. I haven't. Not sure, but I think that was everything. I think there was anything else I can scan or pick up. I've already been in back there. And I have been on the other side. Alright, well, that was that. So, what other doors do we have to th uh, things to fix? Need monorail for that, and need advanced circuits for that. And I was waiting on something for the, the terminal. What was that? A lot. Never mind. Hmm. I do have a couple of signals we can decipher. Uh, decipher and uh, decipher the signal by crafting and possessing 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 an unknown piece of equipment. Love that. And this, I made the water wheels, but I gotta craft them, so maybe... Let me work on that one and see what we can come up with. Okay, I'm back at the base. Uh, one of the things I forgot to actually mention was I was trying to redo the, the whole bio brick um, line, and... I don't know, I haven't, I haven't been having the best of luck. It's been the limestone that tends to draw... Uh, hold back, and it's almost like I need, to need a second thresher to keep it going, keeping this voided has been an issue because this can these can only go so fast so it backs up here so I put a buffer chest in here and hoping that that's gonna resolve the issue for now with the third farm on and why have you not connected hmm yeah needs a bit of fine tuning but it works for now. Anyway, I do need to find some iron. I need to find some copper. And need to go continue on from there. No, I don't know whereabouts on the map there is. Like, I know back here there's a huge, massive vein over here. And I almost might want to start bringing that in. Uh, but having to go out there and fuel it every time is a bit of an issue. But at the same time, too, maybe... Setting something up over at uh, the falls there, just for the the research. 
Maybe, but the infrastructure is already here too. Hmm. I actually remember there's another iron vein somewhere. Let me see if I can find find it. I just had an incredible idea. That was actually something I thought about doing. I just haven't done it. Actually, utilized it yet. But I've got the old loom site here. I got all this copper here, and I got all this iron over here, which I'm not actually using. So I might be able to set up six drills on either side and just convey it all the way back to the main. Actually, a smart idea. Uh, let me actually do that, get it all set up, and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, many, many, many conveyors later. I have them all up here. I do have to go and pick up the plant matter. I was overburdened, so... Uh, yeah, I had to empty it out of my inventory so I could actually move around. So let's follow the conveyors all the way through the tunnel at a very slow rate. I've got them doubled, doubled up the whole way, so it's not not too intrusive. I still have room to get through if I really need to. I got I don't have far to go. And I'll show you what I got at the other end here. Actually, I'll do a cut here. And here we are back at Lima. Wasn't too far, I just walked really slow. So now to get all this, all these fueled up, uh, I have converted everything over to the Mark II conveyors and the, the fast inserters. Oh, not that's not necessarily this line. Uh, but that's just to keep things moving smoother. Uh, it's probably going to be the iron I need more than anything. This is why I had all this plant matter on me. Is, uh, I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing with all this stuff, and it seems like... Making fuel is going to be the best option. Uh, I also did find, there, found out that there's actually limestone, so I could be using limestone to make, be making the biofuel and uh, not have to be dealing with the kindle vine. Not that I don't need the kindle vine, but it's just like, I get so much of it, what do I do with it, right? Alright, so this is all going, and then we will have loads of iron and copper up on the second floor to do more research. And now to go to the bottom floor. Now hopefully I don't have to come and do this very often. Now if I do, I'd like to... would like to get some sort of self-fueling set up with like conveyors or whatever that bring fuel back to these machines. I know it's uh, quite the adventure and also quite the challenge to be able to keep up with that kind of demand. But needless to say, we have iron. We have copper. I got a free ride home. I'll meet you back there. You know, in the beginning when Sparks was uh, mentioned about how Victor used to have a, a factory the size of a city, she was not kidding. I was actually thinking about this earlier, just like these monstrosities we're building. Speaking of monstrosities, we're out of research. What's going on here? Is that a composer full? No, it's not. Not full, we're just out of research. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get some stuff set up up top. Uh, I'll show you that limestone deposit I was talking about. Because we're going to need limestone for the, uh, the coolant for the the blue cores. And I got limestone right here. I realized what it was because... Oh, that was hitting the wrong button. No, uh, it won't let me mine it. Uh, the mole will not actually deplete resource deposits. And as far as I know, resource deposits are endless. So I've got the limestone there. And that was for me hitting the wrong button again. Uh, that was for the uh, the cooling systems. Now it says I need it down there at the bottom of the limestone, but I actually need it for the the coolant. So I gotta craft this, I gotta craft that, I gotta craft these, I gotta craft that. And thank God I'm already crafting those just so I can craft these. Anyway, let me get it, let me get it taken care of. Okay, with that, I think I am done. All I have left to do is get a, get a few inserters placed, uh, use the proper ones, and we should be good to go. Uh, it, not as cluttered as I thought it was up there, but I've got conveyors running all over the place. Uh, so I have the, the Silverthorn extract here. That's going to be going up this bank of conveyors, following up the copper and iron. And then I have the processors. They are here. They're coming off of this machine. They are being mass produced there. They're gonna go staircasing up all the way up there. This is 
a bug. Apparently it's not there. I can't delete it. Uh, then this one here going up is actually the limestone. I've gone ahead, gone ahead and uh, tapped into this. Uh, oh yeah, I still got a... Oh yeah, I forgot. I did this before. I forgot you can't. Those, those ones actually need power. So I gotta get rid of that and... Well, we don't. I did place a conveyor on this side. That's what I did wrong over here. But then I realized that I was... I realized I have to... What am I doing here? Hitting the wrong buttons. There we go. Oh, okay. It's not actually going to connect. Good. Okay, do that. And that. And that. And that. And what do I have for fuel? I have fuel. Alright, cool. Now, it's good. I need to get one more... Oh, I do have one more. What do you know? Alright, that's going to be providing the limestone. It doesn't have to be the fastest because it's just making the coolant. You need a lot more of other things. Alright, so that is good. That is... Loaded up. Alright, now all it's left to do is connect the, the main resources. There and there. So essentially what's going on is I got copper feeding into one, iron feeding to the other, copper and iron feeding to the other to make the iron components, the mechanical components, and the copper wire. And they're being routed to whatever machine needs them. This one here needs uh, copper wire and mechanical parts to make the research cores, uh, which will take the research cores and dump them into here. Oh, I thought that was a part. Dump them into here because it needs research cores. And go over here, and this is making the fans. The fans actually need the coolant and the mechanical parts. Mechanical parts coming in from over here. And the fans are coming in from over here, which also needs the coolant and the limestone, which you saw me bring in. And the iron parts, which will be coming out of here as soon as I place that down. You're not gonna work that way, are you? Hmm. All right, I gotta figure. It, I gotta refigure this. Okay, that seems to be an easy fix. Everything does seem to be running. Uh, are you? Why are you not taking ironing? Oh, helps if it's going the right way. Okay, so all three of them are actually running good. Uh, they won't have any backlog, but. This is making coolant. This will be making fans in a minute. And it will also have a place an inserter there. Hmm. You're going to have a prioritization issue here, by the looks of it. Alright, well, let's see if I can fix that. Let's see if we can put a splitter in here. That'll work. Alright, I'm gonna have to do it the goofy way. You get the idea. Okay, that should be it. I think everything else is going through except for the wires. Where are the wires at? There's the wires. I'm always forgetting those inserters. Make sure you got them going the right way. Okay, I think that'll be it. I think we should be getting our first core in a minute. It hasn't shown up already. No, it hasn't. Uh oh. Of course, the processors. Alright, let me fix this. If I can. Hmm. What happens if you don't give yourself enough room? 
Let's uh, go there. And then there. And then down. Yeah. No, not there. Uh, sure. We'll just have to reposition you then. Alright, well, then you are going to be doing... And I gotta make a few more conveyors, and I'll be right back. Okay, well, after a few hiccups and prioritization issues, and then realizing I had cross conveyors, and uh, inserters were reaching belts they weren't supposed to, and all sorts of other stuff, we are almost there. And hopefully everything runs smoothly now. Uh, I hate to see what the next core is. Oh, there goes the cooling systems. And... And we get to see the big old blue ball. And I think we actually can ride this conveyor all the way down. To, maybe. Let's see it. Hey, look at the little blue flat disc. Oh yeah, it does two at a time. I forgot about that. Oh, this is a bit of a, a walk. So I'll meet you over at the composer. I'm gonna, I've got them set up on their own here. Oh, look at that. That one's full too. Oh, wow. Seems to be a build limit. Yeah, X. So what I can do here... I was talking about this. I can go hold E on it. Oh, hold E on it. And there's 154 cores in there I can take. Take that, and... Before... Oh, this isn't produced anyways. I gotta make sure to that. I sent them upstairs or something. What I'm gonna do, though, is... I'm just gonna change the recipe to something else. That way, if I put anything in there, it doesn't use it up. Alright, where are they? Where are they? There they are. They are coming. Now I have to sneeze. Hold on. <sighs> Don't worry, you didn't miss it. The sneeze, on the other hand. Oh boy, that was something else. Okay. We should be here. Let's see where we're at the research. 379. Not bad. Uh, well, we might as well... Smelting speed could come in handy. I don't think there's anything here I need. And this is all blue. Transport, I don't really care. Although... Get a little bit of suit speed, because I'm always complaining about how fast I run. Oh wow, it's even faster up here too. Cool. Oh, there they are. I didn't bother wasting the resources on high-end conveyors on these ones. The ones coming from Lima, though, I did for sure. Where are they? Let's see those blue balls. And there we go. Oh, those are, these ones actually look, have a different me metallic frame to them. I don't know, they're the same. It does look different. Anyway, I think it's a good, good place to call it. I think uh, next episode maybe we should we'll probably take care of that assembler or the, the water wheel quest. Maybe they'll tie in with the, the um, hmm. advanced circuits. Yes, we'll try to find those. No idea where I'm going to find those yet. Uh, let's actually check our log here quickly. Or, yeah, our journal. Oh, back to the journal. Alright, so there's two signals I'm going to decipher. Uh, this is unknown equipment in an assembler, which could be anything really. Uh, no, water wheels. Monorail orientation. Oh, that's, that's nothing to have. We got to the monorails yet. We got to work on this, which is a long, 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 long way away. Uh, which reminds me, I have about 80 accumulators that I probably place down between now and the next episode. And we also got to connect power to the, uh, the terminal. Automated assembly. Oh, I think it's just tutorial stuff. And then we got two doors to open up, but I uh, don't have monorails and don't have event circuits. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, 
I'll see you in the next one. Later. Like eyes. <laughs>